What are some tips for filtering out the bad fish, or as Corey would say, the bum bitches on dating sites? Bum bitches. <laughs> so I heard that from uh, Quintus Curtis, who I follow. He's another fellow Gen X guy, and uh, you know we see eye to eye and pretty much most everything that, that I've seen. And um, he, he was the one that made that comment is that, you know, talking about it's like there was a girl and uh, a woman and she was on um, TikTok or something like a TikTok video was reposted to Twitter complaining about how all men suck and how horrible they are and, and how they ha- she has no respect for men in general, period. And he just said, no matter how beautiful a girl is or how enchanting she is, if she doesn't respect you, she's a bum bitch. There's a lot of bum bitches out there, basically. And so if you're, if you're vetting, I mean, every guy should vet their dating prospects, especially if you're doing online dating. And the reality is, and people get upset when I say it, is that really attractive women, women that have a good social circle, have lots of friends, are very busy socially, they don't have a problem meeting men. It's like they're constantly meeting guys and constantly hit on. They're not going to be on the dating apps. Typically, people that are on the dating apps are on there because for whatever reason, they're having a problem. Maybe they just moved to a new city or whatever, but you have a high number of messed up women and also messed up men that are on dating apps and so it's like you got to think about where you're fishing out of and so a girl who's family oriented loves her mom loves her dad respects her mom respects her dad they're going to be more of a rare occurrence on the dating apps just because they they're already are constantly meeting dudes and whenever they're single they're typically not single for very long because they have an active social network. And again, people that are maybe socially awkward or maybe they just moved or they just, for whatever reason, they, they don't have an active social life are going to be on there. And so for the guy who is going to wade into that, the other thing you got to consider is, and I noticed this probably when I was living down in South Beach and I was, I was on like Hinge, I saw it a lot. Um, the Hinge dating app was one of them that I noticed like you would match with these girls real pretty. It was like, oh, cool. We got chemistry connection. And then as soon as the phone number would be exchanged, I would notice that the match would disappear. I was like, well, that's weird. We're still talking, but it's like the match is gone. And so as I continue to talk with these girls, I realized that what they really are is they're the hookers. They're usually the girls that come from broken oh. homes. Mm. And, they're like, and I, you know, I would just say, well, what is it you're looking for? What do you want? And then they would say, well, for 2000 a week, I'll basically come and have sex with you and spend a day with you. And obviously, if you want me to spend more time with you, it's more money. And I couldn't believe how many of these girls I was finding on Hinge was a big one. I, I started noticing them. It was like all of them, though, even Bumble. I was finding them on there. And so what these girls would do, they would match, they would exchange phone numbers, and then they would block you on the dating app because they want to keep that dating profile because they're, con- you know, it's how they get new prospects. And so if, you know, when the girl says, well, I want two or three grand a week to sleep with you, and the guy's like, "Ah, I don't want that, they don't want their dating app or their dating profile getting reported and getting them banned because obviously it, you know, makes things difficult for them to find new prospects. And so you're dealing with that. You have, you basically have hookers and call girls that are on these dating apps now pretending to be into you. And what they're really trying to do is get you to pay them to come have sex with you because... There's a lot of thirsty dudes that are, they have more money than common sense and they'll fall for it. But not every guy's going to fall for it. And so you got, that's the thing I noticed about that. And it just, it, there, there's so much swiping that you have to do in the apps just to get to, you know, somebody that likes you and you like them and they're actually real and they're authentic. And other things that you should look for is, it's super important is you want a girl that's easy going, easy to get along with, not a structured pain in the ass it's got a bunch of rules and a bunch of hoops that she wants you to jump through another thing is however she talks to her father and however her mother talks to the father is a good indication of how she's going to talk to and treat you and so she doesn't respect her dad and she berates her dad the mother berates the dad and they walk all over him she has been trained to be this way since she's a little girl 
And so typically what's going to happen if she treats her parents or especially her dad that way, she's going to try to do that with you. And so these are the things you want to look out for in the beginning. Is she easygoing, easy to get along with? Does she respect her parents, especially her father? If she doesn't admire, respect, and look up to her father, if she's always bitching at him, berating him, condescending to him, copping an attitude with him, the wife is doing it, the mother's doing it, that is a bad sign. You can set some healthy boundaries with her and say, don't talk to me that way. But more than likely, she'll just continue to do it because she's been doing it her whole life. And that's going to be very difficult to have somebody that's easygoing, easy to get along with. And so that's a big thing. Communication. Does she communicate well? Following the things that are in the book, just going out on one date per week. Is the girl blowing her top before you even met? Oh, you didn't text me you know, until two, three days after our last date. That's it. You know, or she's giving you an attitude. It's because if you apply what's in the book, you're going to be taking your time. And if there's insecure girls that are a pain in the ass, they're going to blow their top on you. They're going to get mad. They're going to get upset. Now, guys that are thirsty, that are beta males, they'll put up with it and apologize and try to get her to be calm and walk on eggshells because they just want to get a piece of ass. But men who have plenty of choices and plenty of options are just, they're not going to put up with that shit. So she's got to be nice. She's got to be easygoing, easy to get along with. If she's a structured pain in the ass, has got a bunch of rules, it's like don't waste your time. Does she keep her word? If she tells you she's going to be somewhere at a certain time, does she show up on time? If she tells you she's going to do something, like, oh, I'm going to make you dinner. I'm going to do this for you. Does she actually follow through and do it? Does she keep her word? Is she honest or does she lie? Does she tell you stories and then the next week you're hanging out and then you get a completely different version of the same event these are things you have to look for because you have to vet not only the women you date but the people that you hang out with same thing with the people that you work with and you know what i've seen develop is you know especially in the red pill community is that those guys are so angry and so bitter and so pissed off at women that they're pissed off all the time they give an angry vibe off and it scares women it doesn't make women feel safe when they're around them and so these guys are not good with women to begin with, and they get this red pill stuff, which really doesn't offer any solutions to them. It just tell, gives them reasons and justifications why the modern woman sucks. But a lot, you know, what I see most of these guys is always talking about online dating, very little, if ever, any approaching in person, and they're just angry and they're bitter. And we see in the, I see in the comments all the time, they're just the nastiest, most mean spirited people, and you can tell they don't like women, and women definitely don't like them and you know like a guy gets screwed over by one girl it's like all women are the same oh you can't all single moms are the same all modern women are the same it's when you paint them one of the a broad brush like that you can just tell those dudes are not competent and they're not confident and so in all areas of your life it's like even cu customers and clients you've got to vet the people that are coming into your life or coming into your business or coming into your inner circle just because she's pretty and she looks good doesn't mean she's a good person and not a fucking bum bitch as Quintus Curtis would say <laughs> also I feel like um, if you're like going out with a, a girl or a guy mostly girls um, if you're going out with a girl and then she's like if, you, if you're in like this is like your second or third date and you meet up with some of your friends or something like that you know you don't do group dates well, until you're in a relationship that's right out of the book let's just say it happens well, guys that don't know better, it happens. Yeah, it but happens. But don't do it. Don't do group dates. Um, so you want to see how she interacts with your guy friends, if she's giving out her Instagram or her phone number or if she's flirting with them. Or well, those are things that you, when women are like that, you'll see them do that even when she's not hanging out with your guy friends. She'll yeah. be going out with the guys, all the men from work for happy hour. I just did an email recently where that was the case, the, you know, his young, hot girlfriends hanging out with the guys that she works with and getting drunk with them and giving out her phone number. Women who are loyal, who respect their relationship, are going to they're gonna say, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. But girls who are disloyal are going to give it out and go, oh, well, he's just a friend. I'm just a friendly person, and I like making friends, and she'll make excuses for it. It's a woman who's loyal and wants to be exclusive is going to worry about losing you and she's not going to go give out her phone number to some other dude or give out her instagram to some guy that's hitting on her she's gonna it's you know when you're not around your girl it's important to see how she acts 
when you're not there. If she respects you and respects the relationship and she's loyal, she's going to tell her, I have a boyfriend. Women who are disloyal are going to be constantly giving out their number, giving out their Instagram. In other words, giving dudes the green light to try to sleep with them. That's the bottom. That's what you're, you're looking for. You're looking for, does she act like a loyal woman? Is this somebody that I can trust? Does she care about me enough? And is she loyal enough? And does she have integrity where she's just not going to do these things? And when you see that, you can't, and you, you can set the healthy boundary, but if she continues to violate that and continues to give out her number, continues to invite attention from other guys, and that's why it's better to be calm and not get pissed off because you get pissed off and angry, she's going to hide it from you. And then it's going to take you longer to figure out that she's a bum bitch. And it's much easier to blow her off after two or three dates versus two or three months when you're in love with her and then you find out that she's been hitting on and hanging out with your best friend. So you, you got to pay attention to what they do, not what they say. And the behavior is different. It's like what Jay was talking about. Girls are giving out their number like that. They're going to do that regardless if they don't have any integrity. And that's what you're trying to spot and weed them out. 